The 9 Pro is the best phone that OnePlus has ever made, but the competition has never been more fierce. So does this slick new flagship have what it takes? Let's find out. The OnePlus 9 Pro is packed with some of the best technology the smartphone world has to offer. There's a lot I really like about it, and there are some great reasons to be excited. It looks beautiful for one thing, with quite an elegant, classy design, which I think would appeal just as much to your suit and tie wearing business types as it would to your beanie hat wearing microbrewery owners. I really love this mirrored finish on the back as well as those shiny chromed accents around the camera and of course the shiny Hasselblad logo as well. It's all glass and metal so you probably will want to keep it in a case if you're the clumsy type but it is IP68 rated so that will at least keep it safe from the odd spilled drink. The 6.7 inch display curves nicely at the edges and fills the whole front of the phone so there's no wasted space here. With a max resolution of 1440 by 3216 pixels, it is absolutely pin sharp and it's bright and vibrant too, so playing colourful games looks absolutely superb. Underneath all of this is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 processor and on my review model there is also 12GB of RAM. Safe to say then, it is absolutely stuffed with way more power than you're ever likely to need and certainly in my time with the phone, I found basically nothing that would slow it down. For its camera, OnePlus partnered with pro camera maker Hasselblad to help bolster its photography skills. Now that's a pretty smart move because while OnePlus phones have generally been pretty good, its cameras have never been right at the top of their game. So has this new partnership changed that? Well, in a word, no. There's no question that this thing can take really beautiful photos using its standard, its super wide or its telephoto lenses. It takes good photos at night as well and it can shoot video in up to 8K resolution. But OnePlus has made a big fuss over its pro mode and after spending some time using it, I'm not super impressed. Sure, it can take photos in 12-bit RAW and the more bits you have, theoretically, the better dynamic range your photos will have. But Pro Mode doesn't use all of the lenses, so you can't use Pro Mode with Super Wide and you can't use Pro Mode with the telephoto lens. There's also no kind of modern computational RAW photography, much as what we've seen with Apple with its Pro RAW. So I've generally found that images shot in Pro Mode don't look as good as images that you would get from the standard camera lens using things like HDR. Powering all of this is a 4,500mAh battery, which put up an average fight on our tests, being beaten by the Galaxy S21 Ultra and even the cheaper OnePlus 9. However, the 9 Pro does support 65 watt fast charging, which will take this thing from empty to full in about 30 minutes. Now that is hugely fast and it makes it ideal if you're heading out but you've forgotten to give it a full charge, you can just give it that little bit of boost for 10 minutes and you'll be good to go. Better yet, the 65 watt charger comes in the box so you don't even need to hunt around the internet to find one that works. It also supports 50 watt wireless charging but only if you have a compatible wireless charging dock and that is something that you'll have to buy separately. So yes, with its lovely design, its gorgeous screen and its super quick charging skills, the OnePlus 9 Pro really does have a lot to offer. The camera can take gorgeous images and while it is a step forward for OnePlus, both Apple and Samsung have taken even bigger steps forward with their phones recently and unfortunately OnePlus still isn't quite up there with them. If camera skills are your top priority in a phone, then it's still worth looking towards the Galaxy S21 Ultra or the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max. But unless your goal is to get the best camera around, then you shouldn't let any of that put you off because this thing does tick every single box that we expect from a flagship phone in 2021. But what do you think of the OnePlus 9 Pro? Is it the phone for you or do you want something with the best camera you can possibly get? Do let us know your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to keep it CNET for a lot more.